Hello, I'm Michelle and welcome to Somewhere in Bookland. Today I'm going to be doing my March book haul and I have a lot of books. I have 21 books slash graphic novels that I got this month. Partially, mostly because it's my birth it was my birthday month this month. I, I got a lot of presents from people in the form of books or bookish things and I also bought myself a lot of presents because I'm like it's my birthday I should buy myself a book all month all month it's my birthday all month is what I kept telling myself so anyways I'm just gonna get into this because like I said there are 21 things so the first the first six books I'm going to show you I got from book outlet which I love because they're so cheap and you know I'd actually ordered these in February but they didn't come until March so I'm counting them towards my March book haul. So the first book I bought was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I've already read this book. I had read it from the library. I got an e-copy and I loved this book and the second book Legendary is supposed to come out this year so I had I wanted a hardcover copy so when I pre-order that one I'll have my matching copies that way if I want to reread it it's easy so this book is about Scarlett and her sister Tella who live on an island with her with their very abusive father and there's this thing called Caravelle which is like a traveling circus where you have to be specially invited to and it's like this huge production every year there's a theme and the winner gets a wish of their choice. Scarlett has been wanting to go every year. She's been writing and trying to get an uh, invitation every year and she's never been invited and then this year she's finally invited and then her sister Tella is kidnapped by the organizer legend and this just goes through Scarlett going to Caravelle and, and she has to try and find her sister before the end of Caravelle and it's only five days long and I really enjoyed this book. Um, I made some predictions while reading this book that didn't weren't right. They were kind of right but then not right but yes I really enjoyed this book. The second book I bought this month I've also already read and that is The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. This book is about this girl Lucy whose mother has had cancer in the past and her mother's cancer re-emerges and this is just basically her dealing with that and something happens with her boyfriend and she, her parents tell her they don't want her work at the church camp that she works at every summer and they want her to work at this camp across the street and this is just her dealing with all the changes in her life and coming to terms with the fact that her mother has cancer again and a lot happens in this book like this isn't my favorite Emery Lord book but it made me cry when I was reading it like hardcore cry I read this book right after I read If There's No Tomorrow by Jennifer L. Armentrout and both of them made me bawl. So that's that's something fun. The next book I got from Book Outlet was actually the first Emery Lord book I've ever read and that is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. This book is about this girl Reagan who breaks up with her boyfriend and she goes on tour with her best friend Dee who's a country singer. She kind of reminded me of like a Taylor Swift type of person. So she goes on tour with her best friend Dee and she meets this guy. Just a cute little romance story. I said I have read this book already and it was pretty good. It's Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire. Um, I got this one on Book Outlet for a specific reason and I'm hoping they put the third one on Book Outlet. This is a really small book and I feel really guilty spending like 20 bucks on this book. 15 to 20 bucks on it. So I like getting from Book Outlet where it's a lot cheaper and I feel better about purchasing such a thin book. Now this is the second book in the Every Heart or Doorway series. I don't know if they're companion novels or if you're supposed to read them in order. I'm not sure if you could read this one without reading the first one. But since this is the second book, I'm going to tell you about the first book. The first book down, um, the first book Every Heart or Doorway, it's about these, it's about this school that kids go to after they've come back from a different world kind of like 
if Alice goes off to Wonderland, she comes back, she's not exactly the same because she knows that there's a new world or the kids who go to Narnia, they can go to this school, which is full of people who've gone to places like Narnia or Wonderland and have come back and now don't really know how to fit into society very well. So this is the second one. It follows Jack and Jill in the world that they go to, which is exciting because in the first book you don't really get to see, you get told about some of the different worlds but you don't really get to see them in that world because in the first book they're already back here in the real world at the Home for Wayward Children school. So this is exciting. I haven't read it yet but I really want to. The next book I got from Book Outlet was This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills partially because this cover is so pretty and I've been looking at it wanting to buy it for a really long time and I saw it on Book Outlet so I'm like I need to buy it because it's cheap and it's a beautiful cover and it's about this girl Sloane who moves and makes new friends and her new friends have a painting that goes missing that was like their late mother's favorite painting and Sloane helps them track it down. I'm not sure what else this book is about but this was almost definitely just a cover by. The last book I bought from Book Outlet was 99 Days by Katie Catugno. I know the next book in this series is coming out soon or it just came out and I've only read one other Katie Catugno book and that was Fireworks and it wasn't my favorite so I'm trying to give her another try with this book. This book is about this girl Julia who goes back to a town where she's known for dating this guy Patrick and then I'm assuming messing around with him, messing around on him with his brother Gabe. I'm not super super sure. I do know it's a contemporary and I like contemporaries. So yeah, 99 days. The next book I got, I got from Amazon and it's a graphic novel and it is I Hate Fairyland Volume 3 Good Girl. I've already read this one. I read it as soon as I got it. I love the Fairyland books and this one was no exception. It's about the whole like series is about this girl who goes to Fairyland kind of like through a door like Alice in Wonderland Narnia style and she's supposed to go on this like trip not trip, but she's supposed to go on like this journey while she's there to find the key and get home and she can't find the key and she's been stuck there for years, like 20 plus years, 40 plus years. So she's in her mind, she's old, but her body looks the same and she's just angry and she kills everybody and it's amazing. And like the graphic, like the drawings, I love the art style of this book and how colorful it is and yes it's amazing I love these books and I want to start reading more of image comics comic books um, graphic novels got this one read it already um, I don't buy the individual issues so this one's like issue 11 through 15 I prefer to wait until the volumes come out cuz then I'll just get it and read them all at once so this one's volumes 11, I mean, this one's issues 11 through 15. And the fourth volume comes out in October, I believe. But yes, the fourth volume comes out this year, and I already pre-ordered it, and I'm really excited to get it. The next two books I got in the month of March were pre-orders, and I have yet to get to them. The first book is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Yemi. And this book is about this girl, Zili, whose um, mother had magic. And there's this king who doesn't have magic and hates everybody who does simply because he doesn't have magic and he ends up being the reason that her mom dies. But I'm pretty sure Zeli has powers and it's up to her to basically save her people. And she has help from a rogue princess and she's going against the crown prince and I'm really excited. And my friends started reading this book and if I remember correctly I could be wrong I think she told me like I thought this was her 
this is her hair and it's like because of what power she has or something like that i don't know if i'm right but yes children of blood love to kill a kingdom by alexandra cristo and this is about this girl lyra who's a siren princess and she has like 17 hearts under her bed or something like that of earth princess but then something happens and she ends up killing one of her own kind and she gets punished by being sent to land as a human and she has to bring the queen prince elaine elaine's heart and if she does it by a certain date and if she doesn't she'll remain human forever it's like a twisted mermaid book and i'm here for it <laughs> now the next book i bought i got off of ebay and it's not a book, it's a comic. Um, and that is Fuck Fairyland uh, Special Edition. It's issue, it's just a special edition. They had made it for like World Comic Day and then they remade it. And <clears throat> basically she kills off everybody from Image Comics and it's interesting. And so yeah, I bought it and I read it already. Then it was my birthday and so I got a couple of presents from my mom. Uh, the story behind these, she got me four books. The story behind these, she had got me, got me this book for Christmas. Except I already had this book. So she went to return it and get me a different book and those are the books that she ended up getting me like four books instead of one. Um, and she would forgot to return it so she did, she still has this book. She had forgotten to bring it with her and so yeah she ended up giving me four books instead of one and other three books in that series by Serena Valentino um Mistress of All Evil, Fairest of All, and Poor Unfortunate Soul. These are all about the Disney, the respective Disney villains on the cover. I don't know what else to say they're just all the, like their stories so yeah she got me all those she also got me this dark fantasy supernatural horror short stories book by a whole bunch of different people and look at this cover so yeah she bought me this book and then for my birthday I went to LA I went to the last bookstore in LA and I got a couple books from there the first one was actually a graphic novel. It is a image comics graphic novel since I really like um, I hate Fairyland and I want to get into more of their graphic novels. So this is one I've been wanting to read for a while and it's Chew Volume 1. And this one's so weird. Like, I like it. It's just weird. But yes, it's Chew Volume 1. And it's like this guy, he can eat like a pig and he'll see how the pig was raised and how it was killed and all that stuff. And he can eat humans that have died and see how they were killed. And so he's like a police officer and he gets put on this special force where that's his job to eat humans and try and figure out or to like eat parts of dead people who were murdered and try and figure out who murdered them. And it was interesting. I didn't hate it. I like. I mean, I liked it. It was interesting. It's weird. I'll probably read the second volume, but I'm not sure how far I'll continue into this. Mm -hmm. Then the next book I got there was a book I had been wanting to read for a while, and I still haven't started it. It's A Dark Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This one's about alternate Londons and this guy Kel who can travel in between the Londons. And like there's a London with a lot of power, like a lot of magic. There's a London that has no magic. There's a London that doesn't exist anymore. And there's a London that's being slowly drained of its magic. And I'm not really sure what it's about, but I'm excited to read it because I've been hearing a lot about it. And I mean, different Londons. It kind of reminds me of uh, Fringe with Joshua Jackson and I loved that TV show. So yes, I'm excited to read it. The next book I got was also a pre-order and like 
why I don't know why I bought this book. It's the third book in a series. I have the first two. I have yet to read any of them. I've just heard so many great things about this series and I wanted to read it and I was like oh I'll just buy them as they come out. So I'll have the first editions but then I'll wait until they all come out and like I'll binge read them all at once. That's a great idea Michelle except now like if I don't like the first one I'm stuck with all three. I mean I can get rid of them but if I don't like the first one I bought all three. You know what I mean? And that is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. All I know is it's told in a multimedia format and it's like an outer space story. I have no idea what this one's about because I've never read the first two and yet I pre-ordered the third one. I just really like like how the covers are like see-through and then you see through and yeah. So now I have the third one. I mean they look cool. There's like pictures and like notebooks and they, they look interesting. I hope they are since I bought all three. Now the next book I got, I had heard Joss from Squibbles Read talking about this a while back and I it sounded really interesting and I wanted to buy it. Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. So this follows this girl, Rachel, who agrees to spend the summer with her boyfriend's family in Singapore. And little does she know that he grew up in a palace and his family is rich. She's going with him to the wedding of the year and he's one of the most eligible bachelors and his mom isn't sure if what she thinks about Rachel. And it's supposed to be a major motion picture soon and it just sounded really good. And so I wanna read this book. And then I think it's a series. I think there's a couple other books. And look how pretty the inside is. But yes, Crazy Rich Asians. And then another book I bought from Amazon with along with that book was Roomies by Christina Lauren. This is about this girl Holland who kind of has a little crush on this busker who um or street musician who plays near the subway station by her apartment and she ends up meeting him, actually talking to him one day when he helps protect her from a drunken attacker. His name's Calvin. In order to pay him back, she gets him an audition with her uncle, who's a huge Broadway musical director. It turns out he can't work in America because he's, he's here illegally because his student visa expired years ago. So she marries him so he can stay in America. And they kind of, I'm assuming they slowly fall in love. And I really enjoyed a couple of other of Christina Lauren's books and so I was really excited to get started on this one. The next book I bought was because I saw the movie Love, Simon and loved it and I hadn't read the book yet so I bought Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda which I did read this month. I actually just read it like yesterday and it's really good. It's about Simon. It's about this boy Simon who's gay and he's um, emailing who, this guy Blue who he doesn't know who it is and um, the emails fall into this other kid's hands and he starts blackmailing Simon with it. And if he doesn't play the wingman for him, he says he will reveal his secret and post the email. So this is just Simon's story and I liked it. I don't know. I loved the movie and I think if I had read the book before I saw the movie, I probably would have liked the book more than I liked it now. But as it is, I loved that movie and I think it tainted my thoughts of the book a little bit, especially since I already knew the secret. And the last book I got this month is Things Are What You Make of Them, Life Advice for Creatives by Adam J. Kurtz. I got this because Jesse from Jesse the Reader had read a quote from it and I really enjoyed the quote and I wanted to read the whole thing. So I got this. It's just like little, it's just like little quotes for creatives. And they actually all are on a perforated page so you could tear them out and post them up. I don't, I wouldn't do that because I don't like that. But yes, it's just little quotes, little life advice. And that's it, that's my whole haul. That's a lot of books. And if you like this video, click the like button. If you wanna see more of this face in your feed, click subscribe. And I'll see you next time, bye.